And that's cute, isn't it? Thought I'd show you my new electric bike. I'm not sure what the sound's like. This is on my phone. So it might sound a bit strange. But as you can see, it's quite a big thing. It's a little bit different from what you saw on the, the picture on the website. And the reason for that is that the dealer on the phone took my measurements and the phone I recommended uh, the, the, the bike I, I wanted he thought was too small for me the frame so he brought a selection of them and he asked me to try them out uh, so I did and this one's huge but it's the one that fitted me you sit upright and it just feels so graceful when I'm riding it. I would never have had a bike this size. Because it really, they really are. This phone's not showing doing it justice. But they are massive wheels. But uh, yeah, so this is a Dutch electric bike. It's got a mid-centre motor. Which you can see there. It's a Bosch. Really cool, really cool system. Um, it has a locking system like all Dutch bikes which you lift that up and you lift it, it locks there locks in there really clever uh, although it's too expensive I wouldn't lock it up uh, it's just for they call it a bakery lock for when you go to bakers and you just pop in quickly and get your fresh bread the brakes are uh, hydraulic and they really are amazing, really. In fact, they saved me the other day. Um, as you can see from the, the, this grill, this thing here, it's built in, to, it's got a built-in light that's uh, wired to the, the whole system. And I, I was driving pretty fast around an estate and um, a chain appeared out of nowhere and went through the gap between here and if I hadn't got hydraulic brakes it would have snapped this bit although I think I've got to reset it I think I've moved it a little bit is that the square? but anyway so that lights up that's really doesn't look quite centre um, the another thing is that the gears and not derailleur, so that means they haven't got those things pointing down. They're a hub, a sophisticated hub, which means that the chain can be really tight. So it's taut. So when you're pedalling, there's no loose slippage. It's just all 100% all transfer of power. So with that, and the, the you know, the... Uh, the brakes it really is a good power system it's got a gorgeous uh, thing for locking all this stuff there so I can put things on that's the battery by the way um, it's got built-in lights I'll show you those working in a minute uh, everything's just such high quality uh, from the so you've got a barrel on it. Now these are the controls. What happens is that you turn it on there. And it's so frugal. I, this charge is from last week. And um, I, I see those bars there. I get five bars. And I, I probably only use one or two bars when I go out. Or even all day. So I don't know the range. But it feels more than 50 miles, 60 miles. And that's when I'm using a um, high percentage. As you see, it's got a clock on it. You can see the time, which is useful. And now the settings, it's got its um, power reading at the top, how, many back, how much left charge. And then you've got your, um, you've got your power settings, motor, it's like force. So imagine your pedals has got nobody pedaling it. So that's 
So you short alter that with these buttons here. See that goes up and down? When I I'm pull out, you can see me moving that. And that moves that. So that's the lowest power. That's off, basically. And then, like, that's having one person joining you, pedaling. That's like having two people. That's the mode I attend on because it's really fast, the sport. And then occasionally I'll go on to the top one. And you'll see here, there's another bar on the right-hand side. That shows you the, when the motor's working, you can see how much percentage. But that only shows you that when it's working. You've got lights, built-in lights. You can turn the lights on and off. So if I press that there, see lights on? And if I show you the lights, the lights on. It's really cool. Looks a lot better at dark. And you can't see it because it's so light, but uh, it's quite a powerful light. Um, anyway, we don't need the lights on. So let's go back to the power. I'm going to set it down there near mid-range and I suppose now it's also got a stand and all sorts of stuff um, this thing is to stop uh, your trousers or skirts or whatever going into the thing and getting the, the Dutch think of everything they really do um, the reason I went for the this shape is so, so I haven't got a crossbar because what's the point of a crossbar it's just really hard work when I come to junctions, having to lift my leg all the way over just to get off. This is perfect. This really is so much better. So anyway, so let's take it for a spin. Okay. What's it like pushing? It's a heavy bike, isn't it? really well made bike when you're pushing it I've got to be honest it can be a little bit heavy although it's not impossible it's just you can fit it's a little bit heavier than a bike a normal bike but you don't push it very often you know um, I'm just doing that so we can get out of this get out of this thing uh, let's go this way you're having a little tour of Telford town centre. This is this is quite interesting. This place. This is the Chelsea Gardens, um, and it's got various places you can just come and chill and sit. And it has water features and uh, cherry trees and flower gardens and all sorts of stuff. So, um, but it's right at the centre of town park which is a park next to our, our shopping centre. So uh, it felt like a really good place to show you this bike. So, um, right, we're nearly there. I don't want to ride in the park because it's a bit, in, in the gardens because it's a bit rude. Uh, now I don't know how this is going to work. I'm using my phone and I want to show you how the the power system works while I'm riding it so I might have to pedal with one hand so I just hope I don't fall off the bike right as you can see it's really high up right I'm on low pedal oh the gears are there I'll show you I'll see the gear how right, do I change gear hmm. I'm not pedalling at all, using any power at all at the moment. And the gears are important, I'm on gear number one. But the thing with the hub gears over the derailers is if I stop, and I've only got one hand, 